excellent container for casting a child's hand is a two liter Coke container or soda container. And all you do is cut the top off. And then you'll see if it's big enough. What we're going to do next is a child's hand holding the baseball. And we need a child. Let's have a child front and center. This. Okay, now stick your hand in here, and you see his hand will fit in there without touching the sides. This is an excellent size container because you're not going to waste a lot of alginate. If you use something much bigger, such as a bucket, you'll use way more of the alginate. So this will be quite economical, and it's still clear, and these are readily available. We have Mr. Cade standing here ready to get his hand cast, and if our Wonderful assistant, Morgan here, will simply rub a little Vaseline on the ball. The Vaseline is not so much to protect the ball as it is to, to keep the alginate from going into the stitching. This will keep it out a little bit. We've got a real clean casting, whereas if it goes down into the stitching, it won't be quite as clean. And I have taken the two liter soda container, and I'm going to fill it up to this pipe, which is what we need for the alginate. And then I'll put the alginate into another container. Equal volumes. Loosely packed alginate in water. There we go. Put this in here. Keep it ready. Now we'll measure out the correct amount of water, which I've got warm again. Comfortable for Mr. Kate. Now this much, this is over two pounds of water, and this will be difficult to mix with a whisk in time to get it back in before it sets up. So I'm going to use an electric mixer. I could have the water colder and give me a little more time, but it won't be as comfortable for for Kate here. So what I've got is just an electric mixer for a hand mixer which can be purchased either through art molds or from your local hardware store. And I'm using a slightly bigger bucket to give me a little more room to mix this. All right, could we start the clock? I'm going to give him the, the ball. This is going to set up very, very quickly. Okay, now, let me see your hand. Okay, hold on to the ball snugly. I'm going to rev this on here. Hold on to the ball. Ooh, good job. You be looking good here. Now, push your hand down. Keep the ball against the side. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Ooh, we be looking good. Now, Morgan's going to keep an eye on it. Make sure that it doesn't go to the back. I'm trying to keep your arm from coming backward. Keep the ball up against the front as best you can. You okay? You comfortable? You all right? Okay, we're looking good. Now, don't pull your hand here. This is a pretty young child to be doing this. He's doing a real good job. But he's only five years old, six, seven, eight, and a little older. Uh, follow directions, of course, a little bit better, and they're a little stronger, and your hands are bigger. Uh, though you might want to go to a three liter coat container or some other container if the child's bigger. But he's doing a fine job here. But I don't know that I want to tempt this with somebody much younger than he is. But it's going to be so cute, it's going to be worth it. And this is already set up. So now we're just going to wait just a little bit more, and then we'll pull his hand up. 
Yeah, now, when you pull your hand out, the first thing I want you to do is count those fingers, okay? I want to make sure we don't have any fingers left behind. Got that? Okay, because that's a little more trouble if we do. Can you count to five? Okay, I don't want you to count to four and then give up. I want you to count all five fingers. Now, let's pull the ball in and pull it out. Okay. Just, yeah, let your hand come loose from the ball and pull it out. It'll come out. Just tug. Now, you've got a little bit of air coming in. Oh! Futures. Now, his ball. Good. It, the, he only had it down to about his wrist. He could have gone down another inch or two. And an older child would have done that. But this is going to be very really cute as you're going to see. Now I'm only going to mix the same amount of plaster that I did last time. If it turns out that it's not quite enough, I'll just mix a little more. But I think I had so much left over last time that this will be plenty. Remember, one, one to one. Now this time, the fingers are pretty straight down, so I don't have to worry too much about it sinking all the way in. If I trim off a little bit that was on his wrist, and I want to turn this upside down once to make sure the little pieces that might have fallen in there are out, and then I just pour this in, tap it around, slosh it. And because the top of this is round, if I overfill it, the top will become a base all by itself. Now all we have to do is let it sit for 30 minutes or so and be mold. This is quite warm, so it's time to be molded. Yeah, now the easiest way, don't try to slide it out of here, just cut it off. And then, of course, we will put this into our recycle bin. Again, I urge people to not be in a hurry. Just take your time. It looks to me like Mr. Cade's hand is doing well. except for a little tiny bit more alginate to dig out between the fingers. There it is. And if you have this sitting in your house, I guarantee you people are going to ask you over and over again how you got the ball in the hand. I'll tell them.